One of my patients once told me, Adderall helps me focus, but I feel like I'm riding on a rocket all day and crashing by dinner. If you've got ADHD, you might know that exact feeling. Productive for a while, very productive, then drained, edgy, and done for the day. So the big question becomes, is there a calmer, steadier way to stay focused without that roller coaster? That's where armodafinil sometimes comes in. It's not a traditional stimulant for ADHD. In fact, in the United States, it's not FDA approved for ADHD. But for the right person, it can bring a smooth, clear-headed kind of alertness and focus without the emotional whiplash that many stimulants can cause. I'm Dr. David Danish, a double board certified psychiatrist specializing in ADHD in children, adolescents, and adults. I have prescribed armodafinil off-label to hundreds of patients with ADHD over the years, and today, I'm going to walk you through the good, the bad, and what I've actually seen in real life. Armodafinil is a wakefulness-promoting medication. It helps the brain stay alert and attentive, but usually without the intense highs and overstimulation of many stimulants. Technically, it's the active half of something called modafinil, which means it tends to last longer and feel smoother than if you were taking modafinil. It's FDA approved for narcolepsy, sleep apnea, and shift work sleep disorder. But off-label in ADHD, I tend to use it when stimulants of all types cause too much anxiety or emotional swing. There's a history of substance use, then I tend to avoid stimulants in those cases, or if there are sleep problems that are getting worse because of stimulants still being in someone's system. Benefits with armodafinil start within one to two hours. Alertness builds gradually, more like turning up a dimmer than flipping a switch. It lasts most of the day without a harsh afternoon crash. It's given once a day, which keeps it simple, unlike modafinil, which is usually given twice a day. Just like all medications in psychiatry, there are potential side effects. The few that I tend to see the most often, mild headaches in some, usually in the first week as they're getting used to it, mild anxiety in some, but again, less so than stimulants, and mild muscle tension. Some may feel a little nauseous when it's taken on, on an empty stomach. Now, there is an interaction with some types of birth control, so it can lower the effectiveness of some hormonal contraceptives, so make sure you look at that interaction and use backup birth control if that's gonna affect you. If you have bipolar disorder, as with any upper in this way, you need to watch to make sure it does not activate mania. Make sure you and your family members are on the lookout for that. If it causes any kind of agitation, irritability, paranoia, of course, it's not the right fit for you. If you want the full breakdown of all potential side effects, as well as all dosing options for this medication, please head to my mind vault at drdaviddanish.com. It's a free sign up and it has a full comprehensive list there. Here's why I choose armodafinil over modafinil. Armodafinil is the active part of modafinil, so it's longer lasting and more stable. Patients describe a smoother focus with fewer mid-afternoon crashes compared to when they're taking modafinil. Fewer patients report the irritability or insomnia that can come with modafinil. Research, including a 2024 Journal of Clinical Psychiatry study shows that both of those medications improve ADHD symptoms. And in fact, in some other countries, they are actually approved to treat ADHD. From what I've seen, armodafinil can be a great fit for older teens and adults who wanna be more functional and not overstimulated superhuman. Just able to stay organized, finish tasks, and still feel like themselves. So just a more subtle version than a stimulant might be for some. So if you're searching for clarity and not that chaos, armodafinil might be worth talking about with your practitioner. It's not for everyone, just as any medication is not for everyone, but I've noticed it can be a great fit for many of my patients who could not tolerate stimulants. Also, remember, go to the Mind Vault and get that free resource on all the pros and cons on armodafinil because I did not list all of them here. And also, explore my colleague Cindy's Executive Function Coaching Program, also at drdaviddanish.com, which is a national resource for those who have ADHD and can be a game changer that is even more important than medications are for ADHD. I wish I knew about executive function when I was in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and beyond. It just would have been a game changer in ways that would have helped me organize my life in ways that the ADHD really made it hard. No pill fixes everything, and you deserve support from every angle if you have ADHD. Until next time, take care of yourself, and please share this with anyone who might find it helpful.